Hi everybody! I'm just popping in to do a little shop update preview just to let you know what's coming tonight in the shop update. So there's quite a bit of stuff here um, but first I feel like I should say I've been meaning to do a podcast for ages and I haven't and I'm sorry about that. Um, I haven't really been knitting that much but I did say I would do one when the, green, when the greenhouse comes and I'll do it outside in the greenhouse and show you around the garden as well. Um, so it is coming hopefully this weekend so maybe I'll try for an episode next week or the week after so I'll just fire on here <clears throat> and show you what's coming in the update because um, there's quite a bit of stuff and I'll not spend too long on it I'll just fly through it so starting off with the natural sock four ply by the way all the details of my bases are on my website I will link it below and you can check it out there and there's a full preview with all the colour names and stuff on my journal and also on my Instagram stories today so okay natural sock four ply um this is a 50% BFL 50% TV it spun in the UK non super wash and nylon free high twist suitable for socks so summer rays beachcomber light pink I'm not going to be able to hold all these uh, wildflower peony mauve 2 and a new colourway called gold dust which actually there's a better picture of my website on the journal page but it's really nice mustard but there's quite a bit of pink in it as well but it's just you can't really see it in this skein there you go so what would I knit with these? Probably socks, um, possibly a shawl. I have a really nice shawl made out of the natural sock in a mini skein set, which I will show you in a second after I show you the mini skein sets. It's the Colour Craze Shawl by Tammy Gower, and it's a great one if you have a mini skein set. You can just add in whatever colours you want, basically. So these will be in the shop plus other colours. So I'm not going to show everything here. It will just take too long. <laughs> so. The mini skein sets, I'm going to have three again this time, which I'm really pleased about. Um, this is the Terrazzo mini skein set, and I'm sure you can see why. Reminds me of the Terrazzo floors that you see in some buildings. With little flecks of colour all about. This is a six skein mini set, so that's 120 grams and 480 metres six different colours. Um, another six skein mini set. This one is the Cottage Garden mini skein set and inspired by colours of the Cottage Garden. Again these are on the natural sock four ply. And the last one, and I think it's the one I'm most proud of, is the Seashell mini skein set which is a seven skein um, mini skein set. So there's actually 140 grams and 560 meters in this. But look how well the colors go together. Oh, I love that. It's just so common to look at. So yeah, I'll go and grab the color gray shawl. This is the color gray shawl by Tammy Gore. I've showed this a lot on here, but oh, here's Rufus. <laughs> He's a good boy. Are you a good boy? <laughs> you coming to um, take over the podcast, are you? Um, I think I used a main colour to go along with a, either a five or a six uh, skein, mini skein set. But this is a great one for using up mini skeins. And it's a good one if you're just starting brioche. This was my first brioche that I did. So you can see how that would work really nicely with this one. Ah, it would be so nice. But yeah, I can't remember if you need a main colour as well. I think you might. Though you might be able to get away without it if you had the seven skein mini skein set. But you'd need to check that out. Um, just to be sure. I will put the name of that down below just in case you forget. I've got five sock sets i'll just show three here so this is the light pink 
sock set. Not very inventively named, but a nice sock set. Um, the mauve sock set. I have two versions of this garden sock set, one with a slightly lighter main colour and one with a slightly darker main colour. So that's all the natural sock. Um, the next thing that I will be launching that I had last year is the Causeway yarn again, um, which I'm so happy to have back in the shop because it's um, source less than five miles from my house, the fibre for it. It's 75% Teeswater, 25% Oxford Down. It's wool and spun. And um, what else can I tell you about it? It was spun, spun in Cornwall. And I have lots of it in lots of different colours. Um, and they're all very subtle colours and colours that you can make really nice gradients with. So if you did, for example, want to knit something like the Penguono, which is patterned by Stephen West, um, I knitted a lot of this in the Causeway yarn, the first batch of it I ever got. Um, with it, I was holding a strand of Whistlebear's Yeavering Bell 4-ply. Um, but yeah, a lot of it was knitted in the Causeway yarn. So it's a really nice bouncy yarn and this is the peony colourway. This is Peach 3. This is Daffodil 1. If I'm going to be able to hold these. This one's undyed. This one is neutral too. So you can see what I mean. They're all quite subtle but like close, if you know what I mean. This one is Favorite Peony 1. This one is Jasmine 2. Oh, and Peony Dark 1. So that's some gradient, isn't it? <laughs> I can't get my hands out of the way. Look at this. <laughs> okay, so I have way more colours than that, but I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information. I will also have BFL Massim 4-ply in a variety of colours. I'll just, I just brought three to show you these three here. This one is copper. This is the colourway that Melody Hoffman used for um, the sweater that she knitted that she's now taken test knitters for, only it was the DK weave version that she used to knit that. So I'll have the four ply version on it and I'll put in this up to you. Also have Wildflower, which is a nice dusky purple. And a new colour red called Chrysanthemum. It's a bit like an old colour I had called Night Swimming, but I slightly changed it. I actually knitted, I'll just go and get it. I actually knitted, this is in the Night Swimming colourway. This is the Plume Shawl by Melody Hoffman. I knitted this a while ago, but I think this colourway would knit up very similar to this. And this has very subtle little speckles in it too. But this is a nice shawl to knit and it's a very fast one to knit actually. So, um, yeah, this would look similar to this knit up. And last but not least, we also have South Down Arnwee. Now I had this in the shop some time ago um, and I just dyed up my last batch of it so I won't be getting it back in the shop again. So, um, there is I think there was a pattern designed in this yarn. I will try and insert a picture of it here if I can find it, but I have a few colours of it, so I'll just show them to you. Coral, Fern 2, uh, Pale Pink, though it looks more like white here, but it is a very pale pink, and Mauve, one of a kind. They look nice together as well, so could make a nice pingono too because you can really knit this in any way, I think. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much all I want to show you today. Um, I hope to be back either with a podcast or a garden tour, maybe combined, I'm not sure, maybe separate, we'll see. But I hope there's something there that you like and 
that you would find useful and enjoy knitting with and um, yeah I suppose it might be just nice to say I know my shop updates sell out really fast so my advice would be ah what was I saying before I got interrupted there by the door oh yeah my advice would be make an account um, and all your details look through the journal and know what you'd like to purchase and eight o'clock keep refreshing the page and just don't hang about <laughs> Um, and I would also like to say thank you to the people who've tried to buy stuff and haven't been able to um, and have tried again because that's really helpful for me and I make as much as I can without overloading myself and without, you know, overdoing it. And I can't always make as much as would as people would like me to. Um, because it's natural dyeing and it's slow and there's only so much one person can do. Um, so I really appreciate it if you do try more than once. Um, that's super helpful. But yeah, those would be my top tips if you want to. If you have your eye on something specific and you want to get it, that would be my advice. So I hope that helps and yeah, maybe see you tonight at the shop update.